BO or body odor is an interesting topic. It is one that absopositive alutely needs to be taught, learned, and discussed. But it's an uncomfortable topic because, well, most people don't like to be told that they stink, even when they do stink. Maybe especially when they do stink. It's embarrassing. What do you give a stinky Jedi? Deodorant. <laughs> so how do you discuss the topic of body odor in a non-combative, friendly way? Yeah, I have no idea. But that's never stopped me before, so maybe you could just send him a link to this video. Actually, is that super passive aggressive? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. But just know if somebody sends you a link to this video, it just means that they really, really love you and are too socially awkward to broach the subject of body odor with you. Because true friends tell you when your zipper's down and when you have something caught in your teeth or if you stink. Ooh. Hey, I'm Amy on A Lolly Life and you are important and needed even if you haven't showered recently and you stink because your fundamental worth comes from the fact that you're a child of God. You are royalty and rolling in some pig slop or having life throw stink bombs at you doesn't change that. However, being royalty doesn't change the responsibility you have to take care of your body. Today, we are going to talk about one aspect of good personal hygiene, and that is your stink factor and what to do when it happens, because everybody stinks from time to time. How to tell if you stink. Number one, the sniff test. If you practice and develop a good sniffer, you can usually tell if you stink. As a side note, it is possible and actually fairly common not to smell your own stink. You get used to your smell and you stop truly smelling your stink and so you aren't necessarily the best person to decide whether you stink or not. Number two, pay attention to micro expressions. Micro expressions are a true emotion that's shown on your face when you encounter something. In this case, uh, like an unpleasant smell. If people tend to make a sour face for a brief moment or flinch back when you get close, then it could indicate that you have a stink problem. The third way to tell if you stink is to ask someone. Remember, friends tell each other if your like skirt is tucked into your panties or if you stink and you need to take a shower. How to keep from stinking. Number one, take a shower. When you are showering, make sure that you are using soap and a scrubby or a washcloth. The most common stinky areas are under your arms, your feet, your butt, and other places that skin touches skin. So those areas should include a thorough scrubbing. How often you shower depends on so many things. If you have skin problems, your doctor might tell you how often to shower. Many people shower daily. I shower four-ish times a week. I shower more often in the summer because I might be working outside or I'm just more sweaty in general. Plus, the showering helps keep my almost constant poison ivy at bay. Baby wipes are good for many things, not just baby's bums. Baby wipes probably fall into the must-have category for teenagers or busy active adults, when I've been camping or on a road trip or at an airport, someplace where less water is available, then I will often use baby wipes or a washcloth to clean up stinky areas. These are good baby wipes. I put an affiliate link in the description below if you want to go check them out. An important side note about baby wipes is they should not be flushed down the toilet. Even if you used it to clean your stinky bum, you should not flush baby wipes down the toilet. It will clog the toilet. Bad idea. After you freshen up in the shower or you use baby wipes to wipe away the stink, then you should put on deodorant, which brings us to number two, wear deodorant. You should put deodorant on every day, even if you don't shower that day. Remember, you're not fully dressed without deodorant. This means you. When you shower and clean yourself up, but you don't put on deodorant, all of the work that you put in cleaning yourself could be undone in an hour or less because you will start to stink. Wear deodorant. Another important side note about deodorant is if you put on fresh deodorant without removing the stink, well, the stink is still there. Body odor is something that you prevent, not cover up. The third way to keep from stinking is to wear clean clothes. 
Did you know that clothes are avid smell collectors? They collect smells. If you sit by a campfire, your clothes are going to smell like campfire. If you hang out with someone who smokes, your clothes will smell like cigarette smoke. The clothes you wear when you're working out will stink. They will smell like B.O. Even if you smell fresh, your clothes will smell funky. And that means you will smell funky. Why was the jacket stinky? Because it was a windbreaker. What about rewearing clothes? I love the idea and I do it, especially if I've only worn it for a few hours and I wasn't doing anything dirty. But there is an art to rewearing clothes. After you take off the clothes, hang it up. Even if that means that you have a spot on your desk or your dresser or a chair or the bed where you lay it out kind of flattish, just don't wad it up. This is something you might wear again. This is something you should not wear again. When you hang something up, it keeps the major wrinkles at bay and it allows the fabric to air out so that it's not collecting the stinky odors of socks that you might have thrown them on. What do you get when you cross a Star Wars bot with a skunk? R2. The second part of rewearing clothes is the inspection before you put it back on. Hold it up to see if anything spilled on it. You should do a sniff test and make sure that you sniff under the arms. If it fails the sniff test and you still decide to wear it, then you will fail the sniff test because stinky clothes on a clean person means you are a stinky person. The fourth way to keep from stinking is do not apply too much cologne or perfume. Axe body spray, colognes and perfumes and other similar products are not a substitute for shower and deodorant. They don't cover up the funk. They actually amplify the stink. Remember how I said that we get used to our own smell? Well, a good rule of thumb is that if you put on cologne or perfume, that within a few minutes, you should basically not be able to smell it. If an hour later, you can still smell it, then <laughs> you are officially stinky. You put on too much. Colognes are meant to be a hint. They are supposed to be subtle. When you walk by someone, they shouldn't cough and think, wow, they're wearing cologne. What should happen when you walk by is in the back of their mind, they should think, hmm, they smell good. Your cologne or your perfume isn't supposed to be a dominant thought. Colognes have a seductive aspect to them, but only if they're subtle. Otherwise, instead of seductive, you will come across as a tryhard or a wannabe, or you will be labeled as annoying because you stink. Tell me in the comments about your way too strong perfume or body spray moment. And if you don't have one, don't worry. You don't have to feel left out. It will happen and it's not pleasant. It's okay if your life has stinky moments. Everyone's life stinks from time to time. By working through those yucky moments, we learn to prize the good. Also, just like we can shower and clean all the funk off, our lives get do-overs. We can start over fresh every single day. And if you don't quite manage the complete transformation in a single day, because who does, then you can start over again the next day. You are worth the effort. You are capable. Eat some fresh veggies this week and forgive yourself. I love you and I'll see you on the next episode of The Lolly Life.